Greetings. This is day five of our weekly devotionals, and I trust that as we've gathered together, you've realized that God, through His love and strength, is with you. I want to sing, uh, sing to you. Please don't ask me to sing. I want to read to you from Psalms 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That's the opening verse of what is called the shepherd's psalm. It's a time when God was uh, um, helping uh, David through some difficult situations and David wanted to recognize where his help came from. And thinking on that, I was looking through some other um, versions of the Bible that gave us that same verse. Like the Amplified Bible says, The Lord is my shepherd to feed, to guide, to shield me, I shall not want. The Contemporary English Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. I will never be in need. The message says, God is my shepherd. I do not need anything. What does it mean to not be in need? What does it mean to not want for everything or anything in life? To me, that means contentment. We are in an attitude where God is our leader. God is the one who directs us. God is the one who guides us. And as long as we stay in that attitude of contentment, allowing him to direct us, we're not going to need anything. Everything's going to be great. But we know that that's not always the truth, so we always have to come before God in prayer, asking for his guidance. You know, there's a lot of people, again, we could go through the scriptures and we could see where a lot of people um, just weren't content with what they had. And it starts right in the very first book of the Bible. You know, Adam and Eve, uh, in particular, had a lot of different attitudes towards contentment than my good friend Paul had. I mean, here they were in the Garden of Eden where they had everything. I mean, Eve, Eve had a good house, a good wife, good food, you know, had all these good things. But when the temptation came from the devil, she said, hmm, I want more. And that's a challenge is that we have to be very careful in facing in our lives. To be, to be very careful to say, I don't want more. I want what God has for me. My friend Paul says in uh, Philippians 4 and 12, I know what it is to be in need. I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in every situation. There he is. In all circumstances, be content in whatever situation you find yourself in. So I thought it would be good maybe just to go through that 23rd Psalm and look at the various verses and see how we can be content. He's got a real good description for us. You know, have you ever tried to uh, put something together that you've never put together? As long as you follow the directions, as long as you follow the prescription, so we call it, that's laid out for us, you're not going to end up at the end of the day with something missing or parts uh, left over and you have to take it all to, uh, apart. We've got a real good description here in the 23rd Psalm. 23, Psalm 23 and 2 and 3. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Four simple directions given to us here in this very short passage of scripture in the 23rd Psalm. First of all, he makes me lie down in green pastures. When we think of David being the good shepherd boy that he was, what does that mean? Well, we know that sheep will not be satisfied. They will not lie down until they're well fed and then they're content. So God says he leads us to the green pastures of life and as long as we trust him, stay into his word, study his word, see what he has to say to us each and every day in our daily devotions, then he makes us content. We too can lie down in the green pastures of life just like these sheep did. Secondly, David talks about he leads me beside the quiet waters. After they're well fed, they can settle down into the uh, nice 
plush green grass of the valley where they can be content for the night, knowing that they've been well fed, they've been looked after, they're beside the nice quiet still waters and our soul is refreshed. We find that contentment, we find that opportunity to have words with God, to meditate upon His goodness for us, then we, He leads us besides the still waters. We are now content. Thirdly, David notes, he says, He restores my soul. It's during these quiet times, they're well fed, they're content by the quiet streams, and now our soul is refreshed. That's when God then comes into us, not um, physically, but spiritually. He comes to guide us, direct us, give us strength in life, and we are now refreshed, ready for the new challenge of tomorrow and whatever lies ahead. But Psalms 40, uh, 62 and 1 says, Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. So, We've gone through the three points. Now we come to the last one. This is God's directing us in life. He says, He guides me along the path of righteousness for His name's sake. What he's saying in this last verse now is live uh, life the right way. Look at His scriptures. Look at His words and help us to um, walk in the way in which God wants us to walk. Witnessing to others sharing our faith with others, but more importantly, do what is right in the eyes of God. So think of this 23rd Psalm someday. Go through these four little lessons that, that we've been given, helping us to um, walk in the way that God wants us to walk, giving us strength from day to day. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the path, the right path, for His name's sake. Let's pray. Father God, once again, we thank You for Your Word. We thank You for the opportunity of walking in the way in which You want to walk. Thank You for the opportunity of allowing You to guide us and direct us in life. But more importantly, we thank You for the food You give us, the spiritual food that You give us from day to day to help us in our walk with You. So bless us. May your Holy Spirit guide us this day. Amen.